everyone and welcome to the book refuge and welcome to my tbr video for the romance takeover buddy read which is taking place this weekend april 3rd through the 5th um i am taking part in this with a group of other romance booktubers who we just really want to get romance to be number one a bit more acceptable in the you know reading community because i feel like even though plenty of people read romance it still gets kind of a bad rap and that is kind of a disappointment to us who love it so much so we're going to be doing this there there's an announcement video i already did if you're wondering what the heck i'm talking about which i will link up above so go ahead and check that out if you want to know the details but otherwise i'm going to go over the four categories i'm going to try to read at least one book in each category this is doable for me because i read a lot as you guys know if you've been around here before if you're new here if one of the other booktubers pointed me pointed you my way welcome I read a lot of romance especially a lot of Kindle romances um, that is just something I have time for I have no other life besides books and it works for me it's fine it's fine so let's go ahead and go through the four categories and I have a book that I'm reading as well as you know a couple options for you guys if you you know don't know what to pick so let's start with the contemporary category um, again if you look at my announcement video you can see all the um, sub genres for this or within the genres that you can pick from for me I have two picks for this that I'm gonna try to get to um, one of them is already on my April TBR and that is The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. I've been wanting to get to this for a while because the second book is already out. Um, this one in particular is about a Nashville second baseman named Gavin Scotts. And he's been married for a while. And he just found out that his wife has been faking her orgasms. And whether that is his fault or something else going on. We don't know, but he joins this book club where they're reading this Regency romance novel called Courting the Countess, and he's kind of using it as like a coaching guide to help him get his lady hot and bothered and to, you know, reach that big O, which I think that's kind of charming as long as he's doing it for the right reasons, right? We'll see if he is. Then the other one, this is one I've had for quite a long time because I picked it up when I first started reading this author and it's one of my favorite tropes and for some reason I just didn't get to it. What? Um, and that is Misconduct by Penelope Douglas. This is actually one of her traditionally, traditionally published books and this is an age gap between um, a tennis player, Easton Bradley, and his son's teacher, Tyler Merrick. You know, I just love it. Or no, Easton is the girl. Sorry. Wow. This is why having girls have boys' names can be a little confusing when you're just reading the blurb on the back. So Easton is the girl, and she's a former tennis player, and now she is a teacher. And the parent, Tyler Merrick, he his kid is having trouble, and he's a teenager, and then he meets this teacher. And I believe there's like a 15-year age gap, um, as well as being her student's father and look at this cover it's so sexy and I've owned it for so long and it's an age gap and I haven't read it and I don't know what's wrong with me okay I don't know what's wrong with me but I would love to get to this one this weekend as well so then let's move over to the paranormal section so for this one the book that I'm planning to read which is also on my April TVR, is A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane. This is the first in a new series called A Gathering of Dragons. And I love it because it actually says fantasy romance is the category. And this one has to do with, there's a whole long explanation for it. I talk about it in my April TBR, so you can look at it there. But it has to do with this fierce woman and this guy captures her because I think he wants to lose use her as like leverage or something for revenge and they end up um like in kind of like a forced marriage or something but it's about barbarians and dragons and it seems super sexy he's in like a leather kilt on here I'm all about it so I want to try I may end up starting this one just a cheater bit early because it's really big and I want to get to it and then um another book that I forgot that I owned 
I was organizing my bookshelf yesterday because I wanted it to look prettier when I film here because I'll be doing a lot more filming here what with the uh, uh, current situation of life anyway and I found this one I purchased a long time ago and it's called this Silver Wolf by Alice Rochard and it's funny because Another book we're going to talk about is called Silver Wolf, so that's funny. But this one, I picked it up at like a garage sale because I thought it looked really cool. And it is about um, like the Rome, the Dark Ages of Rome, and like the Crusades have happened. And then there's this girl who she's betrothed to a barbarian lord, which is funny because it kind of sounded like that one. And there's a deadly plot to kill her, and her name is Regine or whatever, that's funny. And I think she can, like, turn into a wolf, or there's a wolf that's her familiar. I really have no idea. And I don't know if I'll get to this, but I've owned it for a really long time. So I want to either, like, try it or DNF it. So I just wanted to put it on my TBR just in case. And then another book I wanted to say as a recommendation to you guys, because I've already read it, but I feel like this one is on Kindle Unlimited, and it was a really quick read, and it was really good, and that was Fortuna Sworn by K.J. Sutton. The author actually reached out to me when the second book was coming out, because the sequel just came out, and this is about a girl who, she has some special powers. She's called a nightmare, and she can make your nightmares, like, come to life basically and her brother has been missing for a while and this hot fairy this fae comes into the bar that she this restaurant she's working at and tells her that he can help her find her brother if she marries him and so that's kind of the setup for this story this is I would call it new adult um it is pretty sexual, but not actual sex. So if you know what I mean, like there's lots of dirty talk in this book, as well as the magic is really cool. And there's all different kinds of magical creatures. I ate this book up. I'm probably going to buy physical copies of both of them. And the third book doesn't come out until the winter of like this year. And I'm sad because I loved it. And the cliffhanger at the end of the second book was amazing. But I highly suggest these if you're looking for a uh, paranormal one to read. Um, next, we'll talk about sci-fi real quick. This one, I only have one pick for because I know exactly what I'm reading, but it's the third book in a series. So I'm gonna recommend the first book to you, and that is Red Rider by Kate Avery Ellison. This fits into sci-fi because it is a dystopian. It is along the lines of A Handmaid's Tale, but our girl Red, she fights harder than any handmaid you've seen in that. And this is, this world also includes the Sworn, <laughs> which is funny, the name we just called, and they can turn into wolves. However, this is sci-fi because it's a dystopian and they are kind of like, there are only certain human women who can birth their race. And so they take these women as soon as they are discovered there's a process of how you discover them and then they're brought to the capital to be married off to a sworn and have their babies so this is a mix between like paranormal and sci-fi but I'm putting in sci-fi because there aren't a lot of sci-fi romances that I'm willing to read and so I'm actually reading the third one in this series it just came out today the 31st of March, and I'll be reading it this weekend, and that is Black Veil, which is the third book, and I'm so excited. Kate Avery Allison, I've only read this series of her. her. She has another series that's like YA. This one I would call New Adult because our character is 19, but there isn't a lot of, like this one isn't overly sexy. I think it's more New Adult just for the content of, it's a pretty serious situation that we're in, and um, like violence and stuff like that um but there is a romance that is a slow burn in here and it is killing me it is killing me and I'm hoping that I get some satisfaction in the book that I'm about to read but I really like it I really like it so all right let's move on to historical which of course I could do a whole whole long list for I'm actually in the middle of reading um I think it's called just like Tempt Me at Midnight is the first one. It's Elisa Klebes. 
Um, and so if I don't finish that before this weekend, I'll be reading that one as well. But then I'm planning to read When She Said I Do by Celeste Bradley. This is a reread for me. I've mentioned this if you've been following my channel before, that I've read the first two books in this series. It's called The Wicked Worthingtons. Um, and there's a family of like six or seven children and they all have really cool names which reminds me of the Bridgertons but these books are a lot sexier than the Bridgerton ones. Celeste Bradley definitely goes there a little more and I love that. I love historicals to be a little sexier because there's so much tension and build up in a historical and if you don't get the right release from it it's very unsatisfying. Um, but yes so this one is about a girl named Calliope Worthington and she takes shelter in what appears to be an abandoned mansion. And when she's there, she finds a dusty chest with a string of pearls inside. And she's caught red-handed by the owner of this house, Mr. Wren Porter. And he is a scarred hero, and he doesn't think anyone will love him. And so he is willing to trap her into a wedding. So he strikes a bargain with her, and he will marry her and she will pay him back with one night of passion for each pearl that she stole. And yeah, so this is good. I remember reading this book, I've read this one in the second book, but it was like five plus years ago. And there's a whole, the entire siblings have a series now, which I've purchased, and so I wanna get back into it, so I'm gonna read that. Another book that I want to recommend to you, though, that I just finished reading, this was on my April TBR, it was called Falling Into Bed with a Duke by Lorraine Heath. Um, I read this one and its sequel both in the last two days. Um, this is about these three um, gentlemen who, uh, they've all lost their parents, they lost their parents in a train accident, and they have to go stay with a friend of the family, and he is a little bit of a recluse because since his wife died and so he's not the best parent but it's a loving household anyway and they're called the hellions of havisham hellions of havisham and the first one is about a girl a woman who she's 26 and she still hasn't got married yet her father isn't a lord but he is very very wealthy so she's not in any rush to get married for those kind of reasons um, and so she wants to have a night of pleasure and she's not the prettiest girl on the ton. So a lot of people are willing to pity marry her because she's not pretty enough. So there's this club called the Nightingale and a woman can go in with a mask on and pick a man to have sex with that night. Um, the man doesn't get to approach her. She picks who it is. He of course gets to say yes if he doesn't want to. Um, and then the woman is free from the repercussions of having slept with somebody. Um, and she meets Ash, she meets Ashbury, the Duke of Ashbury or whatever, and he wants to photograph her feet because he doesn't have a foot fetish. He has just, he finds beauty in different body parts, which I know sounds weird, but when you read the book, it's not as weird as it sounds. And both of Lorraine's books were very, um, creative and very interesting. So I highly suggest that one if you're looking for one as well. I've never read a Lorraine Heath before. I bought the third one in the series because I had the first two and not the last one. And I have some more Lorraine on my shelf that I'll get to as well. So there you go. Those are the books that I am going to try to read myself. I have five books here. Plus, I want to read Black Veil, and then I hope these have been some good suggestions for you. Um, don't forget to check out my announcement video. There are a couple um, challenges that have to do with you know where you read your book or photo challenges for instagram the hashtag we'll be using is romance takeover buddy read so make sure you use that if you want to interact with us and yeah i'm really excited i hope this readathon reading romance lifts your spirits a little bit and that you have a wonderful time this weekend thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye